We've got a lot of amazing new features with the recent updates this year to DJ Pro. And in this short video, I'm going to go over every feature in DJ Pro so you could get started. Or if you've already been DJing with DJ Pro, maybe you'll see some features you didn't know about. So this app is different than pretty much any other DJ app by separating into different view modes. So if you press the middle button here, you will see your view modes. You may be in settings down here. You just have to switch over to modes. So I'm just going to explain what all these do, and then I'll show you everything that you can do inside them. So starter is just, um, if you're starting out, really limited. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that one. Auto mix is an AI powered auto mix. You could choose the transitions. You could choose when to start the next song, when to end the song. It's a really advanced auto mix. It doesn't just fade the song in and out at a certain time. It uses AI technology. The two modes that you're gonna be in the most are going to be classic and pro mode. Classic is, in my opinion, it looks the coolest and it's the best for doing scratching turntablism. If you like the old school two turntable and a mixer style of DJing, then you'll love this. So I'm gonna show you all the features in this because a lot of them are the same in the other view modes. And then I'll go to pro mode and show you the difference. So this is what it's gonna, going to look like to add a song in this software, which is the most important if you wanna DJ, is going to be these buttons up here. You press one, and then here is our music sources. This app has the most music sources out of any app. There's a lot of streaming services, and then they also give you music. If you go to DJ Music, they give you music with a bunch of different genres. If you're just starting out and you don't want to spend any money on music, it's great. I use Tidal Streaming Service. I think it's the best streaming service, but choose which one you want. And then you could search for your song and find it, or you could put it into a playlist here in my collections and organize your playlist. I made a lot of full videos about that but that's how you're going to get your music now we have a sync button now a lot of people have something against the sync button but if you don't plan on using it a good trick is just press it once and it'll match the bpms exactly because the sliders could be hard to get it to the exact bpm or if you want it to match up the beats for you you keep both on sync now we have these we have these loop buttons here. These are always there no matter where you are in the software, you will have these loop buttons, which is important. You could set a quick loop, go all the way up to 32 beats all the way down. There are a bunch of other ways to control the loops, but you'll notice in this app, they give you some stuff that stays there so that it's always there and you could take advantage of some of the other great features at the same time. So same thing up there. And then your BPM slider here, this little button is important. It's a key lock. It's gonna make it so that your songs don't sound like chipmunks if your BPM's all the way up. So it keeps the integrity of the pitch so you could do large BPM transitions and not have it sound like a Nightcore remix. These jog wheels, you could scratch with, you could do spin backs. It, these are the best jog wheels in any touchscreen app. In my opinion, I've downloaded and tried them all. And these arms are actually active. You could actually scrub through the track with that. Down here, we have a play button, and then we have a set and a cue. So you could choose where you want it, set it, and then wherever you are in the song, you could press this and then jump back to there. Next is going to be this button. It says narrow mix, but with the new update, you can control three different features. It's another thing that stays there, but now you could customize it. So you could do narrow mix, an instant acapella, inst instant instrumental, or if you press the drop down menu, we could switch features. You could choose any two effects and have two effects there at the same time, or you could do a beat skip, which is great for setting your cue points. I like to keep it on the narrow mix. Crossfader, you could go slow, you could go fast. A good trick is if you are, if you want to do a quick cut, you could have the crossfader to the left and then just tap the middle and it will snap back. This is great for doing scratches. And then this drop down menu, you could turn on crossfader effects. If you if you keep uh, triggering transitions when you move the crossfader, it's probably because you have crossfader effects on. You could choose any of these effects and it will do a transition for you as soon as you move the crossfader. So now let's get into the mixer section. You may be asking yourself, where is the mixer section? Well, you press this button. Now we have volume slider, gain controls, and a filter. But if you want more, you press the EQ button and we don't lose anything, but we gain a three band EQ, lows, mids, and highs, and a filter. But we got some new updates. 
This one was here for a while. It's a Nero Mix EQ, drums, harmonics, and vocals. A lot of people thought that that was gonna be the future of mixing and it still might be. Next is the Crossfit, the Nero Mix Crossfader. So now you wanna do vocals from this song, instrumentals from that song. The best way to do mashups, I love that feature. This button will set your, you'll be able to see your waveforms. This app has amazing waveforms. I would recommend leaving them visible at all times. And then we could also do Nero Mix on the waveforms here. This is gonna be our looper and our sampler. This is far from the best way to control a looper and sampler. I'll show you that in the next screen. And then to get to features here, these buttons here will get to our features. And this is going to be the same in pro mode. So I'm gonna to go to pro mode now and then show you in pro mode. So the difference is, in classic mode, if you want those features out, you're gonna lose your jog wheel. You could still scratch and do anything you would do with a jog wheel with these waveforms, but if you wanna see and do the most stuff at the same time, you're gonna wanna be in pro mode most of the time, except for scratching. So here we have full view of our waveforms. You could customize them, you can make them vertical, you can make them show neural mix. And then down here, this middle part is exactly the same, so we're not gonna go over that again. So now we have a neural mix section. You could choose as many bands of neural mix. You could fade them in. You could isolate them up here. Top right, new feature, mute effects. It's gonna add an echo when you get rid of vocals. It makes it sound really clean and professional and polished. This is gonna be our cue points. We now have the ability to mark up to 16 cue points. These three dots, you could go to your next bank of cue points. The pencil button, you could get rid of your cue points, and then if you wanna add your cue points, you could add them, press the pencil again. Now we could change the colors, and these will actually show if you have a color RGB controller with color pads, which is super cool, and you could see where your cue points are. A good tip is I like to do where I'm gonna start the track in green, where I'm gonna end the track in red, so as soon as I load up the track, at least I know where I'm, where is a decent idea to start and end the track. You have pitch cue here. You could kind of make beats, do DJ tricks with that. And then we have slice here. If we press a drop down menu, we could get this skip. And this is where you're gonna set those, those auto mix start and stop. That's gonna be over here. Wherever you choose it, whenever that song comes on, it will transition at that time, which is super cool, kind of like a pre-made mix. Next is our loops. We have manual loops. You could go in and out. You could set your loops here. It's going to be, you could skip through the track. You could do in and out, and then you could do bounce effects, another way to do DJ tricks. We have effects, three different ways to control effects. Manual, you could control three at a time. You could adjust them here, control the wet or the dry. Choose your effects. There are all types of effects, even visual and audio visual effects. And then you could choose if you wanna have it for a neuro, for a neuro mix. So you could set an echo for just the vocals or a reverb for just the vocals. Really cool way to control your effects. Next is instant, just press the button, it stays on. And then pad effects is gonna add a high pass and low pass filter to your effects. Over here, we have a traditional slider mixer, lows, mids, highs, and your filter. But you could always use the middle one. If you wanna use your effects here, you could use the middle, the, the middle equalizer so that you could do two things at the same time, which is important for DJing. These jog wheels have some information on them, how long you're in the track, how much set, how much time is left in the track, BPM and your BPM adjustment. You could press this and then you could see your waveform while you have all these features available, or you could do your looper and your sampler. You can make your own beats. It's basically like a beat making software built into your DJ software. So those are your loops. You could choose different tracks. I recommend going through all of these packs and seeing which ones work for you and your style of DJing. And you have a BPM here and then a slider for them. And then next is gonna be our samples. Let's track this place. Whole bunch of samples. You could add your own samples if you want. And that'll bring us to the next screen, which is gonna be looper and sampler. So look, look at what we have here, looper and sampler. You could even control the volume of it. And you have all these features. 
That's why I don't recommend using the dedicated looper zone. The only difference is you could choose any of the loops and have a volume slider, but you lose all those features up there. Basically does the same thing that it does in pro mode, but it is in the looper mode. One deck, this is where you're going to organize your tracks, set your cue points, and you could really see what's going on with one specific track. It's more for setting up and setting cue points, not for actual DJing. Four deck mode, you could control up to four decks at the same time, which is really cool. And then video mode, you, DJ Pro makes it really easy to connect a TV or a projector to DJ Pro to use DJ Pro's amazing video mode. And if you wanna learn more about video mode, check out this video over here, thank you.